Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to today's induction ceremony. This is the second of about seven that will be play taking place across the country. Um, first, thing, first things first, my name is Glenda. I'll be your host this afternoon. And co-hosting will be Hipa Murangi. He is just um, busy preparing your presentations, but um, he'll be um, assisting me with the presentation this afternoon. What we're going to do today is an information session about IOL, the courses offered and the student support services. I know a lot of you are not clear about what student support services are and, and everything that you get, especially how the student portal works. Okay, how many of you use the student portal? None of you use the student portal. You use the student portal? And how do you find it? Is it an effective tool or... Or would you have it otherwise? Any, would you rather have something else? You can, you can tell me. Okay, she's a bit shy. Pardon? It's easy to access. Okay, I'm going to, um, Yipa is going to do a bit of a competition in just a short while where we see what you can find on this student portal. So what today is going to look like is we're going to have a presentation where I explain all your student support services, the courses, where you can get all the information from and all of that. I'll introduce the staff to you. Then you'll receive a form that I'd like you to complete. It's a form, an evaluation form about IOL service as well as this induction ceremony. So if you have any problems, that form is the way to go. But Keeper's department has, has been generous enough to donate a 24 inch flat screen TV to the person who dances the best here today. <laughs> okay? And then the evaluation forms that I told you I'd like you to complete, the forms that you'll get in just a short while, those forms, when, when everybody has completed the form, I'd like for you to put your student number on the top of the form. We'll do a draw and we'll also give away a smartphone then. So don't forget to fill in your forms, okay? Are we ready to get started? Okay, let's get started. Okay, welcome to IOL. And thank you for choosing the Institute for Open Learning as your preferred partner in education. We are delighted to have you on board. Before you set about your journey, let me remind you that distance education is not an easy task to take on. And I'm sure most of you realize that by now. It is very difficult to study by distance education. And even though we at IOL try our very best to make this experience as smooth as possible, your cooperation and input is required in order to achieve great results at the end, which is what we all want at the end of the day, isn't it? Good results. All right, it's very important that you pay very close attention to this presentation, because herein will lie all the information you require to assist you on this journey. When we finished here, we load this presentation on the portal as well, just so that all of you can have access to this information as well. Okay, IOL was founded. Just a bit of an overview of the institution and, and this institution you're studying at. Founded in 1997 and acquired by Trusco Group Holdings in 2005, the number of student registrations increased from 2,500 to 48,000 students at the moment. IOL offers education, business, ICT and skills courses and qualifications. Growth can be attributed to the regional footprint and expansion in course offerings due to the huge demand for education in our country. Offering and developing accredited Namibian qualifications is IOL's main focus. Okay, the Institute for Open Learning has received accreditation for three additional course offerings. Actually, it's four because our Bachelor in Education Honours degree is also accredited now. So you have the Advanced Certificate in Senior Primary Education, the ACPE, Bachelor of Education Senior Primary, that's the best, and the Certificate in Policing. They were all accredited last year, so they were the new additions that came to, to the accredited family. And then, of course, also the Bachelor in Education, which is the Honours Degree. All right, then um, the Advanced Certificate in Secondary Education. Um, who, who of you are doing ACSE at the moment? the Advanced Certificate in Secondary Education. Okay, no ACSE students. Just to let you know that we have revised this curriculum and um, the ACSE will then become the Diploma in Secondary Education um, as of July. Okay, 
So um, then we also have the Diploma in Pre-Primary Education. That is our most popular course, I think. The majority of people here are studying DPPE at the moment. Who's studying DPPE? Yo, we're going to have a lot of pre-primary teachers here. No, I'm, I'm only joking. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. But I would also like to inform you, I know this will, this will cause a lot of questions, but um, just keep the thought. We have also revised the, the, or improved the diploma in pre-primary education, and uh, we will be presenting you with a new qualification, which is the diploma in junior primary education which is from grade zero to three. All right, then um, we have the International Computer Driving License. This is a, um, a computer qualification. It is also accredited. Then we have the National Certificate in Bookkeeping, that's SACWA and um, accredited. Then um, Further Education and Training Certificate in Bookkeeping, the National Diploma in Technical and Financial Accounting. Higher Certificate, Higher Certificate in Office Administration and the Diploma in Office Administration. Then we have the IUM qualifications. Where is Emily? Emily, can you stand up quickly, please? This is Emily Shea. She is the course coordinator for the IUM qualifications for the um, IOL Business School. Okay. And um, then I'd like Evelyn to stand up as well, please. Evelyn is uh, the Diploma in Pre-Primary Education, second and third year. Um, then Isabeau, I'd like for you to stand up, please. She's the course coordinator, the new course coordinator for the Diploma in Pre-Primary Education, first year. Then uh, Cecile, would you please stand up? This is Cecile, or Catherine Meritz. She is um, the COO Education, and uh, Cecile also just recently started, so we are all one bundle of people recently starting and getting our, finding our feet here. Then Brenda, I'd like for you to stand up, please. This is Brenda. She is um, the B. Ed. Honours degree, the one I just told you became or, or is accredited now. And then Severina over there. There she is. Severina is our course coordinator for um, BESP. It's the Bachelor degree in um, Senior Primary Education. So then we have the Business School. This is from... Um, certificate level to higher certificate, higher diploma, and your bachelor and honours degree in various fields like human resources, HIV AIDS management, did I just say H HIV AIDS management, as well as the travel, tourism, and hospitality, business administration, finance, administ administration, business information systems, marketing management, and small business management. Now we get to the student support services. Students are encouraged to visit the resource centres at the following branches. Tietmanswerf, Walfus Bay, Ongwediba, Rundu, Katima Manilo, Ochibaronko, and Vintu. The resource centers are equipped with prescribed books, internet access on computer terminals, contact class DVDs, and there is a coordination to, to assist you with questions, fax and copy facilities, and much more. Okay, the student portal, Hipa will get more into this, but um, the, the question we get most is, how do you reset your password on the student portal? How do you change it if you, if you have forgotten your password? How do you log in if you can't? So this is something to remember, okay? Should a student have forgotten the password to the portal or is not able to log in, it's advised to revert to the left-hand side of the IOL website where a link will be displayed for students who have forgotten the password. Once a student has clicked on the link, a request for the student's year of registration and cell phone number should be entered. The new password will be sent to the student's cell phone number. HIPAA will give you a live demonstration of the portal um, during the session as well, so you can see how to log in, how to change your password, and what is on the portal. The student portal contains your assignments, um, old exam question papers, study guides, um, contact class recordings, tutor lists, contact class presentations, the welcoming letter, the syllabus, the course outline, web mail, your financial statements, academic results, exam timetable, academic history, and your personal details. All of this is on the student portal. Okay, now this is not the exam scopes. The exam scopes is a, is a very um, sensitive matter, which we will also tackle during this session, but this is an IOL scope that is published every week in the Namibian, uh, in the Informante newspaper, pardon me. These are just examples of it. It gets published every week, so you can get your informante every week, and then you'll have 
access to this code. Um, these are older ones, so um, it, it explains what basic first aid is, it explains the um, Ongui Diva graduation that was hosted last year, um, still our Christmas package that we had. Then we went to um, Ketmansuk to do school visits over there and hand over. We also have a mascot, his name is um, Professor Unongo. He is um, an owl, but he's not here today, unfortunately. And then we did um, information sessions and induction sessions in Ketmansuk as well, but that was the last year. What is the IOL scope? The scope is a bi-weekly publication. Actually, it's not bi-weekly anymore. We do this weekly now. The mobile bus is the mobile office that visits remote areas where we do not have offices. And then the course information, introduction to new courses and subjects, smart rules, and frequently asked questions. So be sure to get your free copy of the Informante newspaper and stay updated on the latest developments at IOL. All right, our education qualifications are the following. Um, the Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Education Honours degree, that is uh, Brenda's course. Brenda is the lady you, you just saw. Then we have Best Severina's course. Um, Best is um, the Bachelor of, Edu for Edu of Education, Senior Primary. We have the Advanced Certificates, we have, which I've just t told you will be revised. And then the um, Pre-Primary in Education Diplomas. These are all accredited by the Namibia Qualifications Authority and registered on NQF Level 7 and 8. Okay, so the learning facilities and uh, the resources in context. The IOL mobile office visits remote areas. This is the bus I've told you about, where there are no regional offices, the mobile bus. And um, the schedule is published in the Informante newspaper in the scope I just told you about. Thank you very much, Lisa. And um, also frequent contact classes and vacation schools in all six regions are hosted on Saturdays. On Saturdays, you must keep in mind that there are only so many Saturdays in a year. Students are permitted to contact tutors telephonically between 18 and 20 hundred hours every evening and during weekdays. Today is also the time to take your form and, and um, because when we went to Angudiva there were concerns that the tutors were not answering the phones or not communi communicating with you properly. So I'd like that to, for you to put that on your form as well if that is the case. Then, um, Access to the internet, access to the IOL website, and a unique email address is provided. People will discuss that with you in just a short while. And then full access to the resource center library containing all study guides, textbooks, and recommended reference books. Facts and internet facilities are available at the resource centers. And then recently, we've also purchased a new library, an online library. It's called EBSCO. You can also access this from the IOL website. That I'll explain in, a, in just a short while. Then um, the regional coordinators are available to assist students in all the regions. The Bintuk students are fortunate because you actually have course coordinators here. In the regions we have a regional coordinator to assist there. Student counselling is provided for students when their daily lives become too much and they need someone to confide in. Student cards are provided. A bi-weekly scope, a weekly scope is published. And then a study buddy system list is also available. And all courses are accompanied by a free online English grammar course. Do you know this? Do you know that all your courses come with a free online grammar course? And that you can print your certificate at the end of the day once you've been assessed. No? Okay. He is apparently the smartest guy at IOL. He says that. We don't. But he says it. And um, he's going to explain to you how this online grammar course works and how you can how you can do the assessment and then access your course as well. All right, video contact classes by a link. I know there's been a lot of concerns about the contact classes and, and um, why you can't have face-to-face -face contact classes. The reason for this is for quality control purposes. What we do is have the same tutor present the same class to everybody, all IRL students. So if there's a, a tutor in Vintuk presenting by a link on a, on a Saturday, all the other regional offices, so all the other regions see that same tutor. So they get the same classes and it's the same tutor that everybody can contact at the end of the day. So that a person in Ongwediva or in Kietmansu doesn't say that, you know, when Tuk's people get treated better because they have better tutors, we would like to have the same tutor for everybody else so we have the same quality controls. All right, video conferencing allows more locations to communicate by simultaneous two-way video and audio transmissions. IRL uses the link application for this. 
The Institute for Open Learning embarked upon this system in order to assure quality and uniformity in the presentation of lessons. A duty presents from Bintuk and the lesson is broadcast to all branches at the same time. There is also room for interaction between students and the tutors during this book. Then the Kindle. Oh, this is a corpse here, the yellow complaints but I Kindle. But um, <laughs> the reason for the Kindle is also that um, IOL embarked upon a um, going green approach and you know that paper comes from trees and, and we would like to to preserve the environment and conserve the environment. Therefore, we went for a, for a greener approach and instead of having all your books and carrying all your books, you have them all on one device. Um, Yipa will also show you in, in a live presentation just to show about how your Kindle works and how you can use this Kindle optimally to, um, to assist you in your studies. All education qualifications are accompanied by a Kindle electronic book uploaded on this device. Are your study guides, textbooks, and e-formats, and your assignments? The institution has adopted to an approach to go green and has therefore introduced study tools that with study that with study the tools are loaded on materials, pardon me, are loaded on the electronic format instead of the printed books, and these Kindles are sent as part of the package to students upon successful registration. Right, then you have your warranty. Um, how many of you have purchased laptops and cell phones and um, yeah, have gotten these with your courses? None of you. Okay. You are not as smart as you thought, eh? We all have Kindles, of course. Okay, okay. You, they, they, um, who has Kindles? Everybody has Kindles here. Everybody. Okay, good. The warranty, you probably expect to introduce the short while. And um, because it is also his department, HIPAA is our COO, ICT Learning. We have three online grammar courses, which I just told you about. This is accompanied by all your courses. And um, all com the courses are accompanied with a free English grammar course. You also should have received an SMS with your username and password to access and complete the English grammar course. As your grammar online course can only be completed online, you will need to access, access to the internet, to enter the IOL official website, that is www.iol.na. After entering the website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Smart Education Login link. A new small interface will open and prompt you to enter your username and your password, which you will have received via SMS. Before accessing a course for the first time, you will be afforded an option to undergo a score skill assessment, which consists of about 30 questions randomly selected from a pool. This is so we can assess you first before you start your course to see what grammatic level you're on before you, you, you proceed with the course. Questions for each assessment differ, but they assist you in selecting the course content, content best suited for your interest and skill level, thus creating a customized learning path. It takes between 15 to 20 minutes to complete the assessment. After completing the course skill assessment, click on Begin Test button to start with your e-learning course. You are now able to look at the actual course content. Upon completion, you'll be able to print your own certificate. Okay, this is the EBSCO library I told you about. This is a fascinating library. It's fantastic. It contains so much information, so much books, so many journals and information. And you really should access, access it because it's really to your own disadvantage if you don't. All business school, education, and policing students have access to the EBSCO online library. You will find the EBSCO online library link on your student portal. So you will go to the IOL website and click on the student portal link. The link will take you to the login page. Once you log in, on the left-hand side, you will see the EBSCO library link. Click on the link and you will be redirected to the EBSCO online library. The library contains Academic Search Elite and Education Research Complete. Academic Search Elite is a rich resource spanning a broad stretch of academic subjects with thousands of full text journals and abstracted and indexed. You will also find Education Research Complete is designed for educators, administrators and those seeking professional development resources. This bibliographic and full text database covers, covers scholarly research relating to all areas of education. Please see the link and or follow the link and you will have access to this library. It's really a good library and you should um, try and have a look at it. 
All right, the contact classes I've explained to you, it is by link, and um, that is how it works. The, the uh, contact class schedules are published in the scope. Okay, the induction ceremonies, that is what we're doing here. We will try to have an, we will have an induction ceremony every year, so one per year per region, which will then be seven per year, as I've explained when we started. Um, students will receive an SMS informing them of the in inductions or open days in their region. The timetable will also be published in the Informante. The purpose is to inform students of IAL services and make sure that students understand the distance education process and IAL's role in providing the necessary support and services to make this journey as smooth as possible for the student. Students will also get the opportunity to meet the IAL staff and ask questions pertaining. Student Representative Council is our Vintuk member here today. She's not, but um, we have um, chosen, selected a um, Student Representative Council, one representative for each region, and um, their, their names and contact details are available on the IOL website, and students are free to contact the SRC member if you don't feel comfortable communicating with us, with IOL directly on IOL matters or something that you'd like to convey. At the moment, the, student, the SRC communicates with me, so um, all questions and, and um, issues that are taken up with the SRC, I handle by myself. Um, then the basic first aid. Um, basic first aid is a compulsory subject for the diploma in pre-primary and the Bachelor of Education senior primary degree. So basic first aid will work as Follows. The student will be informed via SMS and have to book for the basic first aid training that will be presented on Saturdays. The basic first aid training expenses are covered by IOL. This means if the student booked and misses the scheduled training or fails the training for whatever reason, the student will be required to pay for the next training. Students have an option to attend their basic first aid training elsewhere for as long as the provider of the course is accredited. Students have to make sure that their certificate is valid upon completion of their course for them to be allowed to graduate. This basic first aid training certificate is valid for two years. So if you complete your certificate, it is only valid for two years because you do things that need to be updated constantly. So if you are in your third year and you know you're graduating that year, it's better to do your basic first aid training then, so that you can graduate with your diploma, which is still relevant, or your certificate that is still relevant, okay? Okay, in school-based studies, there's a compulsory subject for all education courses, except the Bachelor in Education Honours degree. A student has to qualify to do this subject at a school for a specific period. This subject is the practical part of your course. Students will only receive their school-based studies guide and procedure that needs to be followed once they qualify for each phase. Okay, do you understand this? Assignments ensure a student admission to the examination. Once you met the minimum requirements for the examination and you fail the exam, you do not have to resubmit the assignment. This means that if you pass your assignment and you have admission to the examination, but you fail your examination, you don't have to resubmit your assignment the second time you write. Okay. You should make sure that all assignments you wish to submit reach IOL on or before the 15th of January for the first semester, on or before the 15th of June for the second semester. Assignments received by IOL after the closing date will be marked for the following semester. So if we receive your assignment on the 16th of June, it will only be marked for the 15th of January again. Okay. Assignments, all right. Then you should keep copies, <laughs> you should keep copies of each submitted assignment as well as the stamped acknowledgement slip received. Assignments may not be submitted electronically, so we don't take email assignments. Okay, let's see. Assignment and examination due dates, as I've explained now, your semester of registration, your examination, and your assignment due date. The first semester, you write examinations in April and May in the school holiday, and then you have to sub 
So you have to submit your assignment already on the 15th of January. To qualify to write in the second semester, you have to submit your assignment by the 15th of June to write the August-September examinations. This is in the school holiday. Supplementary examinations are written in November and December during the school holiday as well. Examination venues are indicated on the application form and your preferred venue which was chosen when you completed your application form. An SMS will go out before every examination informing students of the due date for change of venue. You need to complete a change of venue form because we will not, not automatically know that you no longer reside in Kidmansworth but you now reside in Okania. Um, we won't know that automatically, so you will have to inform us of that and complete the form. You'll have to do so at your nearest regional office if you wish to write the examination at a different venue, then select it on your application form. You can only write your examinations at the examination venue indicated on your admission permit. So if you did not complete this form, this change of venue form, you will write at the examination centre on your application form, the one you chose on your application form when you apply to register at IOL. Okay, now this is the assessment policy. This is how it works. Assignments grant students admission to the examination. Students need an average of 50% as the assignment, um, SM, that's the semester mark, in order to qualify to write the examination. An average of 50% needs to be attained for the examination in order to pass the subject. So you have to have 50% for, for your assignment and 50% for your examination in order to pass. If you have 30% for your, for your examination and 80% for your assignment, you do not pass. Okay. You do not pass because you have to pass the examination. Okay, the assignment mark and the examination total the subject's final mark. The ratio is then your examination mark, 60%, and your um, semester mark, 40%, to give you a final mark, which will then be 50%. It is important you might have a final mark above 50%, but if you do, did not get an average of 50% in the examination, you still did not pass the subject. This will also be indicated as such on the SMS you receive after the examination. Assignments and examination results will be released 7 to 8 weeks after the due date, an SMS will be sent releasing the results. Students have 5 to 10 days to query these results thereafter. For the assignment, students will only be allowed to write examinations the next examination opportunity and for the examination before the examination scripts will be destroyed. All right, examination credits. You have two examination credits for each, each subject. Therefore, should a subject be failed, you will be allowed to write a free rewrite during the next examination session. So if you, if you failed your examination now during these examinations, you will have the next, your next opportunity will be in the next examination session and you don't have to pay for that examination opportunity. So you have two opportunities to write an examination. Should a subject be failed for the second time, you will have to re-register for that specific subject which means you will have to pay again for that subject. You will also be required to submit a new assignment. A registration fee of $500 will be levied, as well as the cost per subject failed. That subject can then be written during the next examination session. Okay, important notices. Um, I'll open the floor to, to um, questions in just a short while. I just want to finish this so that we all clear up on the information. It is important to inform IOL if of any changes in your personal details. This would be your address, your cell phone number, your surname, etc. You can do this by sending an email to IOL at tth.na or by completing a change of details form at your nearest IOL regional office. You can also make use of your student portal to update your detail. Valuable information regarding studies will be lost if IOL does not have the correct information. You know that IOL communicates with you a lot via SMS. So if your number changes, and, and we don't know this, we cannot communicate with you, so you will lose a lot of information. If you don't tell us if your, if your cell phone number has changed, if your address has, been, has changed, or any of that. 
Then IIL hosts the graduation ceremony once a year during the second semester. Students will be notified in advance. <coughs> we host the graduation ceremony in Ventuk and then one in one of the regions every year. The certificates will only be printed three times a year. Therefore, if you do not complete all your subjects, including the school-based studies, you will have to wait for the next print date of your for your certificate to be issued. These dates are, remember, it's July, October and February. So that's the only times we print certificates, July, October and February. When you visit any of the IOL regional offices, please make sure to complete a customer feedback form as this will enable IOL to improve our services. And once you've completed your studies, you will form part of IOL's esteemed alumni association or alumni association. We'd like for all of you that once you graduate to be part of this association um, so we can keep in touch with you so that we can see what the developmental impact is of IOL studies on our students and also to, to, um, to keep you informed of anything happening. What we will be doing soon, from the 1st of July, we will be calling um, students at random, graduates at random, asking them, you know, if you've already completed a course, like one of the certificates, we'll be calling you to see if you perhaps got a promotion, if you got an increase in your salary after the completion of that, and then also to see if you would like to be part of this association. We welcome everybody to be part of it. Oh, and if you take part in that competition, if you, if you answer the phone and you complete the form with one of the IOL staff members calling you, you stand the chance to win $10,000 in cash. So they don't answer the phone for us. Okay, I'd like to thank you for attending today's induction ceremony. We will now do a live demonstration about the Kindle ebook reader, and that will be followed by another demonstration on how to log in on the IOL website and how to access the student portal. This demonstration will, be, will include the resetting of your password on the portal.